Through extensive research, we've put together the five best laptops for working from home that are currently available on the market. Links for all the laptops mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. HP Spectre X360, the best two-in-one laptop for working from home. Two-in-one laptops have been around for a while now, so it's kind of surprising how hit or miss they still are. The HP Spectre X360 is a huge hit on all fronts. The design, construction, performance all hit super high marks, and it's sure to be just as exciting for content creators as for casual users. The first thing you'll notice is that the Spectre X360 is incredibly stylish. The matte black case with rose gold accents makes this an instant standout. You're probably not going to be able to walk around with it in tablet mode, at least not very easily, since it's 0.7 inches thick and weighs 4.5 pounds. Switching to tablet mode when you're sitting down, though, gives you a ton of control and input on a gorgeous screen. The X360 comes with a 15-inch 4K screen with up to 400 nits of brightness and 99% sRGB, providing bright and color-accurate images. The relatively large screen and high-quality display are going to be perfect for content creators, but also makes casual use and basic work extremely enjoyable. Additionally, the laptop has a 5-megapixel camera, putting it well beyond most laptops in terms of video capability and making the laptop perfect for Zoom calls and video conferences. In terms of performance, the laptop's powerful enough for light gaming and content creation, with a powerful Core i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigs SSD. The storage could have been a bit better for the price point, but overall, these Spectres offer snappy performance. Connectivity-wise, the X360 offers decent peripheral support, with a USB-C port, a USB-A port, an HDMI port, and an SD card reader. It also has a rechargeable stylus for extra input control with the touchscreen, which is nice for extra precision with the higher resolution. Lastly, we want to take a moment here to really give HP props for being honest and accurate on their battery life. They advertise 14 hours and hit it, or within half an hour, on most tests. 14-hour battery life is phenomenal on its own, but having 14 hours when you were promised 14, instead of 20 or 22, is really reassuring. Overall, the HP Spectre X360 is an outstanding laptop that can be used for working at home, gaming, and both content creation and consumption. It does come with a higher price tag, but if you're looking for a quality and well-performing 2-in-1 laptop and have a bit more room in your budget, the X360 is a fabulous option. Apple MacBook Pro – Best Option for Apple Lovers Despite a massive ride-or-die fanbase, Apple's lineup in any given year is limited to a small handful of options. For that reason, picking the MacBook, you'll usually come down to picking the one in an appropriate pricing tier. This year, the best balance between price and performance is the 14-inch MacBook Pro. If you've been a fan of the MacBook in the past, the latest model is going to be the same experience you've enjoyed, just with a few hardware upgrades to make it an even faster and more responsive machine. A big part of what's kept Apple on top for so long is display quality, and the 2021 MacBook Pro continues that tradition. It's equipped with a 3024 by 1964 LCD display, with a slightly non-standard aspect ratio of 1.55 by 1. As a result, you're getting more vertical space than you would in a 16 by 10, but it's still more rectangular than antiquated feeling 3 by 2. On top of that, the display provides an impressive 254 ppi, or pixels per inch, and has a max brightness of 1000 nits thanks to the mini LED panel. This makes it the only laptop in this video that you could reliably use outside in a bright environment. In terms of hardware, the MacBook comes with proprietary components, so if you're shopping between a Mac and a Windows laptop, it might be hard to make a one-to-one -one comparison without going into super close detail. The base model MacBook Pro uses an 8-core M1 chip with a 3.2 gigs clock rate, making it comparable to AMD chips, but a bit slower than you'd see from the newer i7 processors from Intel. In addition, the laptop ships with a 14-core integrated GPU, which doesn't really sound good on paper, but in reality, it offers performance similar to some mid-tier dedicated graphics cards. As a result, the M1 GPU will allow for some demanding graphics applications, such as video editing or even 3D modeling and rendering. In terms of battery life, the MacBook Pro runs into the exact same problem we saw with a few laptops this year. Apple advertises 17 hours, but all testing puts it a few minutes over 14 hours. It's still excellent, but don't expect this to be the reality of your everyday use. And finally, the Pro is a lot better than the Air when it comes to connectivity. There's no USB-A port, which can make using some drives or peripherals a bit more difficult, 
but it does have three Thunderbolt 4 or USB Type-C ports, an HDMI port, and an SD card reader for all the photo editors out there. Overall, the Apple MacBook Pro is a fantastic laptop to work on at home. It's great for content creation, video calls, and even for writing thanks to its excellent keyboard. It's not as powerful as some of the other Windows laptops in this price range, but the combination of display, keyboard, camera, and overall quality will boost your productivity to the next level. Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 – Best Productivity Laptop The Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 is probably the most visually striking laptop available in 2022, and the addition of a second touchscreen in what's usually the empty or unused space around the keyboard adds a ton of functionality. And on top of that, it's been implemented carefully enough, and the laptop as a whole has been loaded with enough power to make this more than just a gimmick. The entire review could just be about all the things that the second screen will allow you to do. It has the functionality of a full second display, so you can use it to take notes or transcribe as you're watching a video, or do data entry across different platforms. In addition, there are media modes built in, allowing you to have your music or video displayed on the secondary screen, where you can easily access and control them without switching away from your main work. There are even toolbar modes that will complement design programs like Photoshop or PowerDirect, allowing more space for the actual media you're editing while still having full access to your tools. In addition, the main display is fantastic as well. It's a 4K resolution OLED touchscreen with 100% DCI P3 and 133% sRGB coverage. The secondary panel has a matte finish, so it won't be reflecting on your main display either. Plus, the max 400 nit brightness means that you'll be able to work in virtually all lighting conditions. Now, since the second screen is taking up half of the base, the layout of the keyboard might take some getting used to. It still manages to give a decent travel distance for a laptop, but the trackpad is off to the right rather than underneath. It feels a bit more like using a conventional mouse, which is enjoyable once you make the adjustment. Inside, this looks a lot more like a gaming laptop, with an RTX 3060 GPU, a 14-core i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 1TB SSD. This is enough horsepower for virtually any task. Video editing, rendering, and also gaming will all be smooth on this machine. In terms of thermals, the laptop does run a bit hot when under a full load. To combat that, the ZenBook Pro Duo 15 uses a hinge to lift the body of the laptop up and allow for better ventilation, which helps immensely for basic tasks. Connectivity-wise, the ZenBook Duo only comes with one USB-A port, which might make it difficult to use peripherals, but there are two USB-C ports and an HDMI port to make matters easier. Lastly, the battery should give you about six hours of light usage, which is surprisingly good considering the high-resolution dual screen and powerful internal components. It's not a full workday, but you're working from home, so the plug is right there. The ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo 15 has both the power and design flexibility to be the best all-around laptop in this video. If you're not going to be gaming in your off time or editing videos, then you could probably get away with something cheaper. But even then, the multitasking potential with this laptop is unmatched outside of a multi-monitor desktop setup. Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition – Best Laptop for Professional Creatives Working From Home if you've spent more than five minutes researching laptops, you're probably aware that Razer is a gaming brand and a fairly high-end one at that. And so it might be a little surprising to see a high-ticket gaming brand in a roundup of the best work-from-home laptops. The Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition fills one specific niche, and it's one that's not going to be served by most of the other options in this video. Creative professionals. Specifically, people who work heavily with video and need the precision of a quadro card. If you're animating or editing 4K videos, you need something with a lot more graphics processing power. The Blade 15 Studio Edition comes equipped with the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000, a GPU with benchmarks similar to the 3070, but with some slightly different balancing and certifications that makes it more suited for professionals. In addition, you get an 8-core i7 processor and 32 gigs of RAM to drive performance during even the most demanding tasks. The one terabyte hard drive means you'll have plenty of space to manage and quickly access files, though obviously external backups remain a necessity. Now, the display is one of the best we've seen on a laptop, with a 4K OLED touchscreen, one millisecond response time, and a 100% DCI P3 gamut coverage. That means perfectly accurate colors, which can directly compete with the best professional monitors on the market today. In addition, it's plenty bright, with up to 350 nits, and gives you pretty decent contrast, even when you're working in bright areas. It's also a touchscreen, 
something you don't often see in Razer laptops. Like all Razer laptops, the Blade 15 uses a slim but extremely sturdy construction. It's 0.7 inches thick and weighs a rather hefty 4.87 pounds, or 2.21 kilograms. Because of the added GPU, it does get hotter than a lot of laptops when running under full load, but does better than an average gaming laptop. Connectivity-wise, there's plenty of connectivity and peripheral support, with two USB-C ports, including one Thunderbolt, three USB-A ports, an HDMI port, and an SD card reader. An Ethernet port might have been nice for extra stability when transferring large files, but it's not a deal breaker. Unfortunately, the battery life isn't great, only about four to five hours, and that drops to an hour or less if you're trying to do anything major. Besides that, the performance on battery mode gets throttled pretty badly. But again, that shouldn't be an issue since you're working from home. All in all, the Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition is for a very specific customer. If you're a creative professional who needs the best possible hardware and display for home use in a form of a portable laptop, this is the way to go, if you're willing to pay the premium price for it. LG Gram 16 Z90Q, the perfect laptop for your home office. The LG Gram is one of the most exciting laptops in 2022. The mix of performance, design, portability, and price makes it a top choice for anyone looking to get a laptop for home use. Previous models of the LG haven't been as well balanced, so if you pass one over in the last couple of years, it's definitely worth revisiting. The biggest selling point for the LG is its slim, high-quality, and lightweight design. The 16-inch model we're looking at for this review, the 16Z90Q, is only 0.66 inches thick and weighs a mere 2.62 pounds, making it one of the most portable 16-inch laptops on the market. The small size and lightweight will make it an excellent choice for people who don't have a lot of room for a workstation in their home or apartment. It's also a great choice for people who are working remotely but still need to travel for work or commute into the office a few times a month. It's rare that you'll see something this light and portable also have a good display, let alone one as excellent as the LG Gram 16. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, so you get more space for work, whether that's viewing reports, editing images, or coding. There will be some letterboxing if you use it to watch movies during your downtime, but that's a fairly minor issue. In a 16x9 resolution, this would be a QHD display, but because of the extra vertical space, it's the somewhat more jumbled 2560x1600 resolution, creating an incredibly sharp viewing experience. The color accuracy is also excellent, with a 99% sRGB and 99% DCI P3 color gamuts coverage so creative professionals like photo or video editors will get a lot of use from it. The only minor downside to the display is brightness, which maxes at 270 nits, meaning it can be harder to work in rooms with a lot of natural light. LG advertises this as a machine for content creation, and with the display covered above, along with the internal specs, we'd be inclined to agree. The Intel Core i7 and 16 gigs of RAM are going to give you more than enough power for photo editing, web design, or coding and the one terabyte hard drive gives you plenty of room to store your work. In addition to the great display and performance, the construction is also top-notch. The laptop feels premium and really solid in your hands, despite being super thin and lightweight. In terms of connectivity, the Gram comes with two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, and an HDMI port, so you have plenty of ports for peripherals or a secondary display. The webcam's reliable, if unimpressive, and the same can be said about the speakers. The only place the LG Gram doesn't do what it says on the box is battery life. Testing will give you 10 to 11 hours of light to moderate use. That's still good enough for a full day of use, but LG advertises 20 hours on this thing, and no one's been able to duplicate that. Overall, the LG Gram 16 Z90Q claims the number one spot as the best laptop for working from home in 2022. It's a high quality, lightweight, fairly priced, and overall fantastic laptop that's going to mesh well with your work from home situation whatever it may be. There you go. These were our selections for the top five laptops for working from home currently available on the market. Be sure to check out the description to find the most up-to-date prices of all the laptops mentioned in this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you didn't, feel free to hit the dislike button as well. Most importantly, if you need help with choosing the right laptop for you, drop a comment below and we'll be more than happy to help you out. See you soon.